Okay, so we are going to sew this adorable zipper pouch. Um, so it opens up nice and wide and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. So here's everything that we need to make it. We need a copy of the pattern. We need to cut that pattern out of the exterior fabric, the lining and feasible interfacing. You need thread, you need a uh, about an 80 needle or universal. You need nine inches of zipper tape or a nine inch long zipper. And you need your zipper foot plus your regular foot for your sewing machine. So the first thing we're gonna do is set aside the lining and we are going to fuse the interfacing to our exterior fabric. Okay, so once we have our pieces fused, we are going to attach the zipper. So the first step is you only take one side and you take your zipper and you're gonna clip it in place along the top, face down. And then you're gonna take it to the sewing machine and you're gonna stitch along here with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so I've got it stitched down the zipper and now we're gonna place the lining over top and we are going to clip that together and then stitch it again. I like to stitch with the lining on the bottom and the exterior piece on top. I find it doesn't shift or stretch around as much. I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch along this quarter inch stitch line and sew those two pieces together. Okay, so I've got it stitched and I'm going to close up my zipper and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so I have now got my pieces all sewn and we are going to flip it out like this. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna top stitch along both sides of the zipper just to make it look nice and tidy. Okay, so I've got my top stitching done and now we're gonna start putting our bag together. So we're going to have our two exterior pieces come together. Okay, so I've got this all clipped together. Now I am going to sew in certain spots and not in other spots. So I am going to sew along here, but not here. Then I'm going to go along the bottom, but not in this square, along the side and not in here at all. I'm going to go down this side of the lining and then the other side of the lining. But here at this part, I'm going to only sew to about here. I'm going to leave this space open and then I'm gonna finish up the seam. This is gonna leave a hole so that we can turn the bag right side out. So I'll take that the machine. I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so I've got it all sewn. I've pressed open my seams. Now we need to box our corners. So you basically match up your seams on the corners and just clip them in place. And you do that on both the exterior and the lining. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew straight across a three eighths of an inch seam allowance on all four. Okay, so I have stitched across my corners, but now we need to deal with these open bits. So, 
I'm just going to get that pull out of the way. You can put a tab in there if you want, or you can just have it free. So what you're doing is you are folding those corners and meeting the seam of the exterior and the lining in the middle of your zipper. And you are going to clip them all in place. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Now, one side of your zipper might be open, so it might be a little bit more difficult. You just kind of put that, match your two zipper teeth in place, and then just fiddle with it until it gets to where it needs to be. Make sure your seams are open. It's okay if it looks a little messy. It's just going to be on the inside. Okay, so I've got those all in place, and I'm going to take it to the machine and sew three eighths of an inch across there. Okay, so you can see I've got it sewn on both of those corners, and now we're ready to turn the bag right side out. So you're going to reach through the opening and pull the exterior fabric out and kind of tuck the lining back in the bag and then just use your fingers to press open those corners and at the top as well there so last step we have this hole in our lining so what I like to do is take it to the machine and because I've already pressed it it should be ready to go and I'm just going to machine stitch from here to there uh, the opening you can also hand stitch it closed. Okay, you can see I've stitched across the opening there and I just tuck the lining back inside. And there we go, you've got a little zipper pouch. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave us a comment. We love hearing from you.